Are you ready to get closer to your favorite game than ever before? If so, then welcome to the simulation. Hello everyone and welcome to the simulation, the show meant to bring you closer to your favorite games than ever before. I'm your host, Curtis Parody, and on today's show, we're gonna start by talking about some big news surrounding The Sims. Then we're gonna talk to one of the lead producers of the next Sims 3 expansion pack, Island Paradise. Sim Guru Graham is here to talk all about the pack. And we're gonna end the show off by taking a look around the community to see what other great Simmers are doing with this amazing game. So to start it all off, let's jump right into the news. All right, kicking off our news segment here, there's a big event happening this upcoming Tuesday for all of you Sim fans. The Sims 3 team is hosting a live broadcast to show off some more details of the upcoming expansion pack, Island Paradise. Also, they're going to be joined by the Sims 4 team. The team will be giving off a demo of the underwater features in this next expansion pack, which will be great to see since it's currently unknown really how we get to see underwater. Besides showing off that, a few people from The Sims 4 team will be there to talk about the upcoming game. Though it's unclear what they'll be talking about, I suspect it may involve announcing a few new members of The Sims 4 team. One of the main members of The Sims 4 team is Rachel Franklin, and she recently released a rather interesting tweet to the world talking about the audio in the new game. Went to a VO recording session yesterday and heard all kinds of cool Simlish. This is going to be the best audio of any Sims game yet. I can't wait to hear all of the new sounds of the game and see the game firsthand. Of course, The Sims 4 is expected to hit store shelves in the first part of 2014. Now, talking about new expansion packs and games here, a recent rumor was swirling around online talking about a new Sims 3 expansion pack called The Sims 3 Trading Empire. The pack was quickly confirmed to be a fake as Sim Guru Sarah tweeted very bluntly, The Sims 3 Trading Empire is not a real expansion pack, it's just someone spreading false information and fake rumors. Well, that settles that, and it's already been confirmed that the last expansion pack for The Sims 3 will be The Sims 3 Into the Future, which will allow our Sims for the very first time to actually travel through time. This pack is expected to be released in the fall of this year. Now next, let's jump into the world of SimCity, where the fifth patch has just been released, this new patch including many interesting new adjustments to the game. The internal game chat has been updated, and new trading controls have been added, allowing players more control over their utilities. Though those are only two of the updates in this game, there are many others that will make this game run better than ever. Now while running the game, you may be interested in setting up your very own theme park, and now for the very first time, you can do that right inside of the game. The first SimCity DLC recently launched, allowing you to build fun theme parks right in your game. You can place every single ride and lay out the theme park in just the way you'd like it. If you're interested in adding this to your game, check out the Origin Store where you can purchase it. After that, it will install right into your game and you're good to go. Well, that is unless you're a Mac user, the reason being that the Mac version of SimCity has been delayed. Yes, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news here, but SimCity for the Mac has been pushed back till August. It was originally supposed to be released this past week, but the team decided that it was necessary to hold back the game before launch. The team at EA released a statement, Today we announced that we are moving the release date of the Mac version of SimCity to August. I look forward to being able to play the game on my MacBook Pro in the future. At the current time though, the only way to do so is by installing Windows via Boot Camp and playing that way. Now let's step back here from The Sims and SimCity to Maxis as a whole. Beyond Sims is reporting that Lucy Bradshaw may no longer be the general manager of the Maxis brand. Beyond Sims did a little digging and they found that someone named Patrick Bashur is now listed as the general manager of Maxis. Could it be that Lucy lost her job after the horrible release of SimCity? At this time, little more is known and I hope that she's still part of the Maxis family as she did work right alongside Will Wright to create the original Sim games. So that ends our quick look around the world at all of these simming news happening. Next, let's go a little deeper into the game and check out a cool building tutorial. Hey everyone, here we are, of course, inside of the game in a blank lot inside of Sunset Valley. So I thought we'd start off with a very simple tutorial today, something a lot of people have been asking me about. How do we build a foundation house and a garage connected? Well, I'm going to show you that right now. It's relatively simple and it only involves one cheat really, so we'll show you that. So first off, let's start with our house. Here is our house. It is a square. It is a beautiful house. Uh, let's add some walls to it obviously here. So here's some, uh, some walls on top of that house. I'm going to delete off the auto roof uh, for right now, just because uh, I'm not a big fan of the auto roof, so we're going to delete that. Also, it will become a problem in the future. All right, so we're going to jump down here again. <clears throat> I'm gonna put those walls all the way up so you guys can see this. Next, let's build our actual garage here. So I'm just gonna build a box right beside this. 
And the only problem is when you get to this section right on the side here, of course the walls will not connect and that requires a problem. So right now I'm just gonna leave that. Uh, I'm gonna build the other walls here, just like this. We're gonna build right to that point right there. Next is where we're gonna need our very first cheat of the game. So we're gonna open up the cheat window by going Control Shift C, Constrain, Floor, Elevation, False. This is going to allow us to change the floor elevation to however we want. So when I connect these, you'll notice now it connects. Though it does warp there a little bit, we will fix that in a second. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to, so as you can see, we need to fix that, right? So we need to jump into the terrain tool here, uh, which is a little weird, but you'll get used to this. Allows us, to, we're gonna use uh, this here, this level terrain, which allows us to select uh, one area of terrain and obviously level accordingly. So we're gonna use it on the foundation and we can actually just go like this and level off these areas. So you'll notice we've created this weird transition point here. Now, what we're gonna need to do with the rest of this is actually build a wall around here. Uh, and I'm gonna show you that in a second. But first, we need to actually level off the rest of the walls. So we'll level off everything around to create this small little mini wall. And I'm gonna do that all the way off to the side here. I'm gonna leave the front at this height uh, and you'll see why in a second. Next, we're gonna build our secondary wall. This obviously goes around the rest of the perimeter here. And we're gonna build it like this. I'm gonna build one up on top here, uh, just like this. And well, that'll be fine right there. I'll fix that in a second. And we'll build this other wall right over here. Now this appears to be a issue. Sometimes this happens. It just doesn't want to go that way. So you can just, uh, there we go, just drag it over and it will be good to go. And then we'll just delete the excess that has happened here. And I'm gonna use a sledgehammer tool, and boom, there we go. So next here, we're gonna level off uh, these areas again, because obviously that will, uh, is not what you want inside. Uh, I'm going to, I'm gonna leave that, that's fine. We don't really need to adjust that. I'm gonna jump up to the next floor here. You need to jump off of this tool and jump back on it to change levels. And then I'm going to level off this wall. So now as you can see, we have created a foundation that runs and then juts up. Now the reason we need this to jut up here is so that we can add a door, and that door being, of course, the garage door. So you can just jump and plop that in right there, just like that. We can extend uh, this out in front, obviously, and uh, build this right here. We're gonna jump down a level, obviously, because we're on the top level there. We can jump down, place something like this in. We can do other fun things. Let's put in a nice railing around here. Something like this. Something very simple. Next, we're gonna jump, obviously, we can jump back up here. We can add uh, some simple roofing, nothing really overly complicated here. Oh, I don't want that roof. I want this roof. This is the roof that I want. So we'll add a simple roof like that, nothing really complicated. And we'll add another fun roofing section on this side. And I'm gonna just change the elevation of it here so that it's a little bit flatter. And uh, something simple like this. So now you've got a connected, a uh, connected, sorry, garage, which is really simple, really easy to do, nothing very complicated. There we go, connected those two together nicely. So as you can see, you can do that. It doesn't take very long, only requires one cheat to actually do. The one thing you will have to worry about though is your actual wall coverings. Now this can be a little uh, problematic. The reason being, if I were to just cover it with something like a siding, you can actually see really easily where the divide point is. So you'll note that it warps right in this area. So the one thing I would recommend is to use some sort of solid, uh, something that won't show very easily that it's warped. Uh, the stone still warps a little bit there, obviously. Um, Something like a pure solid like this concrete might be a little bit easier. Obviously there, you can still see the warp point. So it just takes time to find something that will make it, that actually looks really fun, good there. Uh, something that will kind of hide and disguise that well. Obviously you can always throw some plants in front of it or maybe even a tree and that will disguise it uh, very easily. Uh, obviously you want to find a smaller tree, something like that. You can throw a couple on this side over here. 
and you would hardly ever be able to tell that there is a transition point there. So very simple, easy, only one cheat code, and that's all you need to build a connected garage to a house with a foundation. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this very simple little tutorial here today, but what should we do next? Let me know which tutorial you would like to see by emailing us. You can email me at now at paradisemedia.ca, or of course you can check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash the Curtis Parody Show, or you can even tweet in tutorial suggestions at twitter.com slash the now news. All right, so I've shown you some cool tricks to do with The Sims 3, and I've talked all about the news, but next, let's talk to someone who knows all about the game, inside and out, and who's working on the next Sims 3 expansion pack, Island Paradise. Sim guru Graham is here now to talk all about the pack. So Graham, let's jump right into this and talk about the Uncharted Islands. How exactly do they work? <laughs> so the great thing about the Uncharted Islands is that they all unlock in unique ways. So um, maybe the most simple one, when you first get into the game and you're kind of exploring around the world or taking a boat for the first time, as you roll up to one of these islands, uh, you'll actually discover it just by getting close to it. And then it becomes your property through the new private lots. Um, but as you get deeper into the expansion, you're going to discover additional ways of unlocking these islands. So one's actually through a lifetime reward, for example. Um, one, you know, if you meet a mermaid and really befriend them, um, as you get to a high enough relationship with them, they'll actually lead you to a hidden island. Uh, you know, one of them is actually when you're scuba diving, you'll explore this uh, underwater tunnel system. And as you get through to the other side and surface, you come up right near one of these uncharted islands. So each one has its own unique scenario, which kind of keeps them fun as you're going through the world. Well, that sounds really cool. So you touched on mermaids there. Are there other really cool ways that we can create them? And how do we go about meeting mermaids? So the best way to meet a mermaid is definitely while scuba diving. You know, obviously mermaids love the water. They love being in the ocean. Um, so they'll spend a lot of time down in those dive areas. And it's a great place once you kind of build your skill up and get to the higher levels. There's actually one that's kind of a, a bit of a sunken city with some ruins, you know, maybe where the mermaids used to live, but uh, great places to meet them. Um, as far as creating a mermaid, you can't directly create a mermaid in Create a Sim. Um, but there are some different options if you want to play as a mermaid. So uh, the first one being, you know, obviously if you meet a mermaid and you, you know, gain a relationship with them, eventually you're going to be able to bring them into your household. Um, but another nice aspect of it is if you do have a high relationship with a mermaid, you might be able to ask them for this magical kelp, which will transform your sim into a mermaid. And then kind of the easy way to do it, uh, if you really wanted to create, you know, a very specific sim who you knew you wanted them to be a mermaid, there's also a lifetime reward available uh, for that same magical kelp, which you could then use to convert your sim into a mermaid. All right, so a lot of great knowledge about mermaids there, but next I wanted to talk about resorts. I know you can own a resort yourself, but what if I don't want to own a resort and I just want to go and visit it? Can I do that? Yeah, totally. Um, you know, that's one of the wonderful things about the resorts. We've talked a lot about the business aspect of them because, you know, players have been very interested in that, but you don't have to run a resort to enjoy them. Um, if you're in Isla Paradiso, for example, it comes with three resorts already built into it. Um, kind of a varying styles and themes. Um, so you can go there, you can check in, uh, you can stay in the tower, or you can actually pay a little more and uh, stay in your own VIP suite, which is really nice. And then you'll get to enjoy all the amenities that the different resorts have to offer. So they're, they're fun either way. Well, I can't wait to experience resorts for myself. But last question I have for you here today, what was the inspiration for your team to create Island Paradise? So I think for us, it, it really had a lot to do with us coming off of Sims 3 Seasons. Um, I'm sure you're aware there's a team in Salt Lake City and the team here at Redwood Shores. And our pri prior expansion was Sims 3 Seasons. And you know, that's such a familiar theme and it's such a well-loved theme with the Sims community. It's fun to work on, but a lot of people know what they want out of it. They have a lot of expectations with it. And I think for Island Paradise, we really wanted to do something that was completely original, something that's just packed with stuff that's never been in a Sims game before, and really just kind of not go into it with any previous expectations so that we can do whatever we want, go crazy with it. And I think you really see that kind of theme and that vibe come through in this expansion. I mean, there's so much in there that's just never been in a Sims game. And we talk about that really visual stuff like the scuba diving or the houseboats, 
But when you think about it, like even things like the boats themselves, just like taking a speedboat around the world has never been in a Sims game. And it's just, it's such a kind of a cool and fun part of life. So um, we're thrilled with this expansion and so happy to, you know, just do something that's completely new for the fans. Well, thanks for talking to me today. And I look forward to seeing what your team can come up with next. Great. See you later, Curtis. Of course, don't forget The Sims 3 Island Paradise will be hitting physical and virtual shelves on June 25th. And if you're interested, you should totally head over to Origin and pre-order the game if you already haven't, because if over 4,000 people order the game on Origin in North America, EA will be giving away free copies of Barnacle Bay to everyone who pre-orders. So it's a great incentive to go out and pre-order the game. All right, everyone, time for the last segment of the show, the Community Spotlight. A chance for me to highlight and feature some amazing people in the simming community and show off what awesome content they're creating with the game. First, let's take a look at YouTube user named Build It Film It M. He creates amazing looking Sims 3 houses every month, this being a video of his most recent house building. I think his homes are really, really nice. I love the overall layout of the homes and his commentary throughout the building process is a really nice touch. It gives great insight into his thoughts while building the houses and why he did it. His homes are available for download from his website, allowing your Sims to experience the great houses he builds. If you're interested in checking out more great content from him, you can check out his YouTube channel at youtube.com slash builditfilmitm. There's a link to that in the description below. Head over there, check out his videos, and hey, if you enjoy it, why not subscribe? Up next, we're jumping into the world of Sim City with a rather interesting character. It's hot daddy Sim City Boom! All right, this is YouTube user Win is Gaming Lounge, or he goes by Sampa. He creates fun Let's Plays, and I have to say his Sim City playthrough series is pretty freaking funny. He currently only has 47 subscribers, but I think we could change that. Go and check out his SimCity content, it's great! Once again, his YouTube channel is Win Is Gaming Lounge. There's a link to that down below. Head over to his channel and check out his great videos. And last, let's jump into the Sims 3 Online Exchange, where user Maddie101XX is creating some amazing looking Sims. I'm always amazed at people who create great looking Sims because, well, I can't. She has around 50 uploaded Sims on her page, and if you're looking for a new Sim to star in an upcoming Let's Play, or really you're just looking for a fun new Sim to play, check out her studio. The great thing about the Sims 3 Exchange also is the fact that it's free to download the Sims right into your game. So if you have time, go and check out her studio, link to Maddie101X's studio down below with all of the others. That's it for this episode Spotlight, but now it's your time to shine! If you create amazing content with The Sims 3 or Sim City, then I want to see it and feature it right here on the show. Send an email to now at paradisemedia.ca, including links to your content online, and a little write-up about yourself and the content you create. It doesn't need to be long, just something simple. I can't wait to see all of your amazing content everyone's creating with these amazing games. Well, everyone, that's it for this episode of The Simulation. If you enjoyed today's show, don't forget to subscribe and like. Also, if you're interested in getting in contact with me, you can find the show on Facebook, facebook.com slash The Curtis Parody Show. We're also on Twitter, twitter.com slash The Now News. And if you want to email us, you can do that. Our email address is now at paradisemedia.ca. Also, don't be afraid to check out our website, thenow.ca, where you can find links to all of the episodes of this show, along with other shows that I produce, like Now, a fun new show that happens five days a week right here on this channel. So until next time, I'm Curtis Parody. Happy simming.